Hi Style, I'm Bill Nye, and these are the rules of my style. When people ask me why there was a distinct lack of classical work on my CV, I would say that it was because I couldn't operate in those kind of trousers. But if you want me to be at my best, I want to look my best, and I really only feel comfortable in what we used to call a decent lounge suit. I think if you took 30 people off the street now, today, and put them up against a wall kind of thing, you know, seven of them would look okay. If you did it in 1947, everyone would look okay. If I get a job which is set in the 1940s or the 1950s, I can still go to my wardrobe because basically that's what I wear. Every man should have one, either navy or gray, three button, John Smedley leisure polo. I only call them leisure polo to amuse myself. Everyone should have one decent cardigan. They're hard to find because all men's cardigans, like 98% of them, are four inches too long. And if you pulled them right down to their natural length, you would look seriously sad. And then you probably need a pair of decent dark brown loafers. Ironic mod dressing. It's looking as probably as straight as you possibly can, whilst not being very straight at all, in fact. I can't, I can't relax around skinny jeans because the line is so wrong. And I think often people are afraid of trousers. You know, they want to wear tight, tight stuff. And the tyranny of that is regrettable. And it never looks any good. Even if you've got the most beautiful legs in the world, it still doesn't. Aesthetically, it's still kind of offensive. It's like leggings. Don't get me started on leggings. I like wide-legged. I did put that into my phone once wide-legged jeans. You never think you're going to get a hit. God, there were endless wide leg jeans. And I've got a pair of the real McCoy Japanese denim jeans, which currently, actually, I'm almost not lying, they could stand up on their own. I've given them to various people to wash because I don't have a washing machine. Yeah, no, I don't have a washing machine. Okay, I have a friend who's, who is a mod, who is prepared to put them in, a, he, he says, 30 degrees, and would do that a dozen times, and maybe then they won't stand up on their own, and maybe I'd be able to actually walk. No, a trainer is never acceptable with a suit, neither is any kind of bright-colored shoe, even a pair of tan shoes with a dark blue suit, which I've seen a lot of young men wearing. F give it up. Forget about it, you know, it's a terrible idea. I do have a pair of pomegranate colored Puma retro trainers. 